Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brain Bean here again, back from a long hiatus. I took some time off uh, when we welcomed our fourth beautiful baby into the world. And she's doing great, mom's doing great, and now it's time to get back into making videos. So I thought what better way than checking out Razer's new keyboard upgrades. Now these are gonna be available as this video is released. And so Razer sent over this huge box full of all kinds of goodies. So let's open it up and check out what's new with customizing your keyboard from Razer. So we open this huge box up. We've got a bunch of different keycap sets in here and we've got a bunch of different wrist rests. So we'll, looking at this thing, what we've got here is we've got two different sets of what Razer's calling their Phantom keycaps. These are basically just a set of pudding keycaps and there's some other little things to it that we'll talk about here in a bit. And we've also got these PBT keycaps, which if you're familiar with Razer's existing PBT keycaps, the sets themselves have not changed. What has changed is that Razer's now including a matching coiled cable as well. That's what I'm most interested in on these sets. So we're gonna check those out as well. And then we've got three new sizes of Razer's ergonomic wrist rest. Now pricing on these, the um, Phantom keycaps are 35 bucks. 50 bucks for the set of PBT keycaps and coiled cables, and then 20 bucks for the wrist rests, no matter which size you pick. So with that, let's jump into checking these out, and we'll start with the Phantom keycaps. So one thing that's worth mentioning is that the Black Widow V3 Mini is gonna be launching with a new edition alongside these upgrades. That is the Black Widow V3 Mini Phantom Edition. So essentially all it is, is it's gonna be coming with the black version of the Phantom keycaps already installed. Now this version is gonna retail for 200 bucks. And if you remember, I said those keycaps on their own are 35. So you're actually saving $15 by going this route than buying those two items separately. So if you are already gonna do that, this is kind of a way to just save a little bit of money. And honestly, I'm a little bit surprised to see Razer offering the discount by bundling the two together. So I think that's pretty cool. But talking about the actual keycaps themselves, I will say that I was hit with a bit of a QC issue on these right out of the gate. And I think this is really important to discuss because typically on a pudding keycap, we'll have the clear or transparent sidewalls. Then you have sort of the whichever color, usually white or black uh, tops over them with the transparent legend in the middle. And usually those are two types of plastics that are injected together uh, to create the keycap. And in the case of razors, it looks like these are actually two separate pieces of plastic that snap together. And on a few of my keys, these were actually separate when I pulled it out of the box and they popped right off and just kind of exposed like a little window on the clear side. And I was expecting having to put a bit of adhesive there or do something to get these to stick back together. And what I found is when I put them back on the tops, they actually clicked into place. Um, so it does look like Razer manufactures these as two separate pieces and then clicks them on after the fact. And while for the most part they do feel pretty secure on there, I don't love that it's two separate pieces that could potentially get loose or rattly over time or like in the case of my unit, even out of the box or popping off of those keys. So I'm not, uh, you know, not, not loving that and definitely a little bit um, worried about how those will hold up or other units will over time. If we're ignoring that and we're just looking at the keycaps themselves, in terms of putting keycaps, these are definitely on the more muted aspect, which is a little bit surprising from Razer because I would expect with them being big and chroma and everything that these would be really punchy and really allow for a ton of lighting to come through. And it looks like they went with more of like a stealthy route on these, kind of what they marketed as. When you turn the lights on here, you can see that because the characters are etched from the underside, you can't actually see any of the legends on the keyboard while it's turned off. So it does give it that cool sort of minimalistic aesthetic that you might see on keyboards that don't have any legends on them at all. And then when you turn the keyboard back on, you can of course see those legends pop up. We've also got secondary characters illuminated, which is nice. And the font again is clean, simple, a little bit on the small side, but again, I, I like the way the font looks. Looking at the sidewalls though, uh, again, going with that sort of more muted, stealthy look to it, I feel like for Razer, you know, they do give you the pudding style effect and they do look nice, but it's not gonna be for everybody. And especially when you consider that these keycaps are $35, you look at something like HyperX's pudding keycap set, which is 20 bucks. They have the big, bright, white frosted sidewalls. So while they're not necessarily as, as stealthy or as modern looking as these, um, they give you a much bigger, bolder, dramatic RGB. 
Uh, same with G-Skills Crystal Crown keycaps. Those are also 20 bucks for a set. And those have the glossy clear sidewalls to them. And so looking at sort of the QC aspects of these, as well as just sort of how much RGB they really punch out, I would really recommend going that route. I think Razer's still got some things to iron out with these unless you really like the sort of stealthy aspect of them not showing the legends when it's turned off or just want the more muted kind of experience, then maybe it might be worth it, but these are almost double the price of sort of some of the better go-to putting keycap sets out there right now. All right, so moving on to the other accessories, the PBT keycaps with the coiled cables. And while I think the Phantom keycaps sort of fail a little bit, I think these new boxes do kind of redeem Razer's upgrades here just a little bit. Now, if you're familiar again with Razer's PVT keycap sets, there's nothing new here. It's the same uh, quartz, mercury, black, and green colorways. So those have not changed. These keycaps have not been updated or revamped or changed in any way. Uh, the only real difference here is that they're including the coiled cable with the box now. If you wanna learn more about the actual keycaps themselves, I've got a full dedicated review and video on them, which I'll link down in the description for you that you can check out after this video. What I really wanna talk about is the coiled cable. Now, if you just look at the value of the PBT keycaps, those were 30 bucks initially. So essentially this is a $20 cable. And I think that's pretty fair when you consider what you get. If you look at a cable, from Space Cables or um, Glorious or something like that, those tend to be a lot bigger in terms of the coil that we get here. If you see, the cable is a lot tighter. And while it is nicely tightly wound and the cable is nice and braided and definitely corresponds with their respective colorways quite nicely, it is a little kind of dinky when you compare it to like a nice big premium cable. And another thing that's definitely worth pointing out is that the length on this cable after the coil is only three feet. So chances are, depending on how you have your cable management set up, you're gonna have to use some kind of extender with this cable. Now this is a USB-C to USB-A, so this is gonna be compatible with most uh, keyboards on the market these days that are modern uh, keyboards with removable cable, so that's nice. And I think when we look at this keycap set, and with the cable, really what we need to consider is who is this intended for? Because realistically, people that really wanna get into modding their keyboards and, and doing all this customizing, chances are aren't gonna be using a gaming keyboard and going this route. They're gonna be going with the expensive custom cables from, you know, again, these artisan brands like Space Cables and going with more expensive keycaps. But I think for somebody who just has like a gaming board, like something from Razer, for example, and they just want a way to add a little bit more pop of color to their setup or kind of dip their toes into customizing it a little bit, being able to get a coiled cable and a pretty good set of PBT keycaps for 50 bucks is a really good deal. I mean, you look at a space cable, for example, while it is a lot more premium than Razer's, is 50 bucks on its own. And again, a lot of PPT keycap sets can get pretty pricey. So I think when you consider, you know, it might not be for you or it might be exactly what you're looking for, but I think overall in terms of value, Razer does give you a pretty good buy on these boxes. And lastly, we're gonna take a look at three different wrist rests from Razer. We've got one intended for mini keyboards, 10 keyless keyboards, and full size keyboards. And these are definitely meant to be more universal and looking at them as the profiles are not quite the same as what we would find with the Black Widow Elite or the Huntsman or something that is designed to attach to the keyboard face itself. These are not magnetic, so they won't attach like those other ones do. And they do have a little bit lower profile to them. And so they won't sit quite as high off the desk. I think overall for 20 bucks for all three varieties, it's not that bad of a deal. They don't feel as premium as they could. Definitely pretty lightweight. The plush uh, leatherette pad is just very similar to what you would get with the Huntsman or any of the other keyboards from Razer that come with them. It's nice and wide, which I like, so it'll accommodate a lot of different hand sizes. And because it doesn't have to attach to the keyboard magnetically, you can position it anywhere. And overall, it does give you a nice cushy pillowy feeling. So I think for 20 bucks, it's not a bad buy. You know, you can certainly find more premium wrist rests out there, but you're not gonna be able to get it for 20 bucks. So I think if you're looking for one, it's not a bad way to go. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about Razer, you know, dabbling more into the customization market. And uh, do you think that they didn't go far enough in terms of kind of offering that artisan quality? Or is this kind of what you expected to see from a gaming brand, just kind of adding a little bit more options for their customers? 
Anyways, guys, I've got links down in the description for you if you want to check out that full length review of the PBT keycaps or links to anything I discussed in this video. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there. Take care of each other. And I will see you in another video very soon.